right, everybody. Uh, I've got a great training video for you today uh, about a great site called ping.fm. Uh, this site is basically a, a free service, and it's really easy to use, that allows you to update all of your social networks all at once. Um, it's a great tool for you guys if you're uh, short on time or you need to get something out there and uh, you know you don't really feel like going, obviously, to all these different social networks. Uh, this is a great tool for you to use so that you can just send one update out and it goes out to all your different social networks at once. Uh, obviously, you've got your main social networks like Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn, and um, you know you've, you've you've got those that you need to update it all together. And uh, this allows you to do that along with uh, building up some of your other social networks as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. This is the ping.fm site. And uh, that that FM takes the place of the .com, so it's not ping.fm.com. It's straight ping.fm. So uh, this is their main homepage here. And if you want to sign up for free, just enter in your information there, and it'll walk you through the process. Otherwise, you're just going to go up here to log in. And I'm just going to go ahead and log in here. And it's going to take me to my dashboard here. And now, obviously, it's going to say over here on the left all of my different social networks that I'm using. And that's also got different uh, you know, services and tools that you can use along with all this. So let's just take a look here. you got your, uh, your Ping My, and then it's going to have all your different things here, all your different social networks here. Or you can create a group so where if you want to only update your Facebook and Twitter, you can do that as well. Uh, one thing you're going to see here is you got your default, which sends it out to everything. Or you can only send out to your microblogs, which are sites like Twitter. Uh, your statuses, which are pretty much all of your your Twitter, your Facebook, and anything like that, that you have a status up, update of what you're doing. And then you've also got your blogs as well, which is also really cool. Uh, so then let's take a look here, and we'll show uh, all of your different networks here. And let's say what you're going to do is when you first start up with an account, under the social networks, it's going to say add more networks, this button right down here. okay? And um, when, once you end up getting to that point, you're just going to go to here, click more, add more networks. And this is going to pull up basically all of the different networks that you have um, that are out there for you to use. And um, so the list is going to be a lot more extensive than this. Obviously, I've already uh, added a bunch of mine as well, already. So um, this is going to be all of your different networks here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how, how you can set up one of these. Um, when it shows you all of your different networks, you're going to have a long list of all the networks. Obviously, these are the ones that I haven't set up yet. And if we click back here, uh, it's going to show me all the ones that I have. And you'll see those in just a minute here. So right there, these are the ones that I have set up. So it's, there's a lot of networks that you have to set up. And the one thing that I highly recommend is just hiring somebody on you know Odesk or, any, or get a freelancer or elance.com um, to set up these networks for you. Because what you're going to want to do is have the account set up so that when uh, you know you've got your, you have to add your picture, you have to add your about me, your info, and stuff like that, and that gets very time consuming. Um, so your time is valuable. You're better off spent doing some other things rather than sitting on here uh, adding your info for all of these different websites. So I highly recommend doing that. You can probably get all of these done for thirty bucks tops. Uh, so you know, post a job, say, hey, I need all these different networks set up. Uh, profiles and all of them, and uh, then it'll walk you through the process here. So what they're going to do basically is go here, WordPress.com. Let's just use this for example, and it's going to say add a network. And then it's going to pull up this window here. This is your kind of how you can get it set up, and it's as easy as entering in your username and password. So let's just use one of my old blogs here, and then it's going to say use for status updates, microblogging, or blocking. Now my WordPress here is obviously a blog, so I'm just going to unclick these. So uh, any any time I post a blog, it'll just go here. Then I'm going to hit submit, and that's it. It's as easy as that. So now every time if I go back here to the dashboard, so every time I go here and I say ping my blogs, what I can do here is I can enter the blog title and enter in uh, you know what I'm going to be saying on the blog, and it'll go out to all of my different blogs, including the one we just set up. So uh, it's a really cool tool. Obviously, you know, we've got uh, you know, your statuses, and I'll just show you really quick um, how, you, how you can go about doing this. So let's just say I status update, uh, making training video for ping.fm. 
I'll just say who's interested just to get some talk going. And then I'll hit ping it. So here we are now at my uh, profile. And what you're going to see here is this is the uh, the post that I just made off of off of ping. So uh, it says making training video for ping.fm. Who's interested? We already got a couple of posts already. So um, also, if we go over here to Twitter, let's sign in on this. And I'll go to my profile. And right there, making training video for ping.fm. Who's interested? And that's uh, 17 minutes ago from ping.fm. So it'll, you know, it, all, it always says who it's from. And, uh, you know, obviously from web, from web. If it was from my iPhone, it would say from iPhone. If it was from TweetDeck, it would be from TweetDeck. Uh, so that's just, all, you know, verifying right there that it was from ping.fm. Also, even if we go over to here to, to uh, friend feed, this is another one that, that's getting pretty popular out there, right there. Making trading video for ping.fm. Who's interested? From ping.fm. So you can see how this all ties together and how easy that was that I just updated all of my different social networks just from posting that one thing. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, let's travel back over to Facebook here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is go over to settings and go into application settings. And some of you have linked your Twitter and Facebook profiles together. And uh, if you did that, you're going to go over here to you know, really any of these recently used allowed to post. Um, but uh, usually it'll show up in the recently used. If not, you can scan through. And uh, let's just go to add it to profile just for fun. Uh, but what you're going to see is you're going to see a Twitter um, a Twitter application, and uh, that's where they're linked together. So what you're going to want to do is actually delete that because if you do have that, it's going to post like two or three times on Twitter. Even if you have like, your fan pages linked as well, it's going to like show up a bunch of times on a bunch of different social networks that you have linked together. So uh, any linking that you already have on social networks, I would recommend deleting that. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of doubles showing up. Um, so as you can see, I only have it once popping up because I've I've only have ping.fm linking all my accounts together like that. So um that's really in a nutshell what it does. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's really easy to go through and set everything up. I do recommend, however, hiring somebody to get that done for you. And, uh, it's really as easy as that. Uh, and if you post a link, uh, we've all have problems with shortening links. If you post a link, it automatically shortens it and gets it under that, that amount of, uh, of uh, characters. Um, now do pay attention though that you do know that Twitter is, uh, 140 character max when you're inputting something into it so when you're on here or on ping.fm what you're going to want to do is as you type it's saying how many characters you have here so just make sure that that stays under that 140 because you know let's just say if i if i keep typing a type 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 it's just going to go red there but it's not going to tell you to stop because some of these sites allow you to do that so uh just be careful of that and uh, otherwise, it'll just skip the ones that it's over and keep the ones that it's on. So uh, I hope that helps you guys out. Go ahead and get that set up. Uh, it's one of the best tools, easiest tools that I found out there to find. Uh, out there to find. It's one of the best tools that I found out there that I personally use that uh, makes my life a lot easier. So ping.fm, go check that out. And I'll be talking to you guys real soon. Thanks.